June 9, 2023. Uh, things are about to get really, really ugly. Uh, according to MK Ultra scenario, I would be tryout uh, and an individual who would be used to trigger police against me would be either my mother or a nurse Yanko at home for elderly people. Uh, the thing is, they work together. And so this is going to be the beginning of the end for Mr. Yanko and home for elderly people in Novo Mesto. As is known, and as is known to the residents, is by an individual, a nurse, a male nurse, uh, probably this taller than myself, heavily overweighted, waiting lifts, uh, and I understand engaged in a uh, I don't know, wrestling, whatever disciplines. Was used to intimidate the residents of home for elderly people, therefore elderly residents of home for elderly people in Nova Mesto. Destroyed quite a few people there. Uh, people are afraid of this individual very much. On every MK Ultra session in Home for Elderly People, uh, government have used this individual, this very individual, to exercise violence against me. Well, I touch my subject in respect to violence. He met me yesterday at the entrance of well, the opposite side of the end, the opposite side of, of the main entrance, the interior entrance. When you enter the garden, exit garden, and you go toward uh, buildings toward, or toward lobby area, whichever way. Uh, to basically remind me of violence which took place on that location. Uh, he had a different locations. This was also one of his preferred locations with which he hoped he's going to trigger violence in me. Um, in a particular location, Nurse Yanko was jucked up would lag behind me, push me. At one point in time, I slammed against the floor with my head. Uh, somehow didn't break my head. Next time, on maybe two, three other occasions, this individual slammed my head against the wall in that area. It's also the area for which he stated he's going to meet me because there are cameras in there. Uh, and during that meeting, which he has used uh, to follow up on a previous uh, incident, which involved the TV of my father, for during which... Um, he insisted me that he has a, he's busy saving lives, doesn't have time for me, and I did not even request him. They were trying to make an incident. It was exactly according to MK Ultra scenario. I'm going to get to this stuff. You know? So if I go back to this area, um, He rehearsed on several occasions, uh, look at me, and when he was explaining to me the stuff, um, 
after I accused one of repeating a scenario from MK Ultra, he insisted that I have to, that he never did, never would set me up, never would did this, doesn't know what I am talking about, and that I have to, whenever he says something, take a pencil, pen, write down that on a white paper in front of him. Um, in that area, uh, he did so when I said that he slammed me against the wall with the head. When I said that he pushed me so that I fall backwards on my literally slamming against the floor with my head. He did so in front of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch. And he did so in front of police investigators involved in this crime. That's what MQ, this was maybe like a climax, maybe, of his violence. He went on afterwards. Apparently, that was not a good stuff. Uh, it came to someone's attention. And Desperate was trying to improve my view through involving other people in it to whom he would do something similar. Uh, in other words, he wrestled them. They were not drugged up. They were sober people. He would wrestle them down on the floor and stuff. Uh, somebody would even get, I don't know, punch or something like this. I don't know what he would do. Uh, he used another nurse, another male nurse, which stated that would rush to him, but there were like two other male nurses, three male nurses and so on. Uh, that they would rush uh, to him in support if I would touch Yanko. Um, he did exactly the same thing today. Today, Nurse Yanko again stalked me. He always stalks me. Uh, it's maybe important to accent that it was not as he claimed is going to be the case because it's going to be during the hours when the dawn, when the home for the visitations is going to be closing and so on. And I don't know what this guy is talking about, what this guy was talking about. I have one audio recorded on occasions when, uh, like for instance today, when I was leaving a building, I think like it's 6.30, 18.30, uh, and he again, he appeared at the receptionist, the main receptionist, where also he would engage in a violence, not as severe violence. However, he did have a conflict, I understand, with some people. Uh, Nurse Yanko threatened me during MK Ultra, not only at the entrance, but also in the area where I was, that uh, the only thing that's going to happen is he will cause me a stroke, basically, through... Uh, he was talking stuff that he's going to smash my head against the wall, against the, the floor, that he's going to crack and crash my head, and it's going to be just just like your father. It's going to be just like your father. That was the, that was the reminder that he was using. It's going to do with me just like he did with no uh, I'm going to be just like a father Yanko nurse Yanko works with my mother uh, prior to departure today to my father my mother literally jumped in me with hands grabbing like this pushing them in me in my body pushing me out out of the way uh, when I wanted to clarify her concerns about a TV which I brought to the father. Then my mother requested that uh, instead I take him his TV. I did. Um, 
Then she stated me that the TV is not working because the cables are missing and the cable box is missing. Uh, I took, because I couldn't find the cable, which is connection between the TV and between the TV box, <laughs> satellite box, if you like, from hers, which I have installed her a TV in her room. That's all these installations for the TV I did for her. Uh, and I was going to do exactly the same thing as soon as I would return from the visit to father. Uh, but yesterday, and that was yesterday, she yelled, she screamed at me. Um, father on the first place shouldn't have a TV according to her. He was yelling, he was screaming, he was fight. It was exactly about the same thing when I was going to borrow the car from father and go to Ljubljana to contact police, if you remember that, yelling and screaming, assault. Uh, she's just desperate to pull something, some kind of reaction uh, in return. And more than anything, is giving a platform of violence, which is bursting from her for Nurse Yanko. Because as I stated, they work together. As I stated, this is the beginning of the end for Yanko, uh, who might have also thought today, prior to departure, that, well, I, I was talking to a receptionist, and then we separated, I said, everybody was talking to me, good night, good night, good night, so uh, it was again, good night, so I said, yeah, have a good night, good night, good night, uh, and that pops up Yanko, uh, again, in the area of the receptionist, to me, with a good night and this and that, we're not in a good standing um, because of a lot of things. He didn't only torture me inside of this home for elderly people where they had me tied against the bed, uh, pushing me foot. Literally feeding me through the tubes, through the nasal, scratching my throat, wouldn't give me a drink and stuff like this, and, and exercising as much as possible. You can exercise violence against somebody during MK Ultra. And I think I was clear about who this individual is. Uh, I advised him that. The farewell, the goodbye was not meant uh, for him. And, uh, that the two of us you know, we are just really, really not friends. Uh, between the two of us, the only relationship that exists is the one that I stated. The one that I called out in this video, the one that I'm going to start to submit proofs online, uh, contact police, and that's where we're going to go from. That's about the only relationship between us. Nurse Yanko is what police investigators refer to a physical, or I see, embodiment of psychiatrist Kapsch, who is otherwise very fragile uh, in a physical sense, but he was always using people like Yanko to make the point through the violence, through the use of violence. Yanko, just like psychiatrist Kapsch, traveled enormously a lot these people enormously a lot enjoyed. That's one of the things. But the Croatia was their top spot. Talking about a Dubrovnik, I think. Split of Dubrovnik, I'm not sure. But they they were they spent enormously a lot of time and living really luxury. Uh, and it came out on more than one occasion that nurse Yanko got implicated with the locals either in Dubrovnik or in Zadar 
into a physical fights, heavy physical fights, confrontations, to the degree that he damaged uh, some people. They ended up in uh, in emergencies. Uh, he hurt some Croats uh, physically. Uh, just um, they compare this individual to a heavy, heavy, heavy mental patient that he came out that individual is severely, severely sick, mentally ill individual. Um, he envisioned himself during MK Ultra as invincible, as somebody who it wouldn't matter what you would do to him, he would still get up and fight until the end, until the end. And, uh, he was presented to me as a killer of the Germans, uh, that the guy like this could take down 10 Germans, uh, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch comments. Um, just... The scenarios, the MK Ultra scenarios, this guy was involved were just um, suggested me that one time that he strangled the guy for me and stuff like this. I mean, uh, this guy is lunatic for one thing. And he is working at department uh, where my father is hospitalized. And the thing about it is that police, the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, had a very, very interesting plans in respect to my father. And I say screwing me up as much as possible and came up with a plan on how to transfer father from Novo Mesa to another location. And that's exactly what I believe they intended for Nurse Yanko to do. Uh, because Nurse Yanko is so violent, because uh, he is in the department of my, where my father is, um, or he envisioned himself as an as a investigator that he's going to be investigating me and so on and so forth uh, I, I mean uh, he, he could envision himself in, 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 in whichever way he wanted he also wanted to be seen as, as uh, part of my team on my side and so on that he got a lot to tell and so on. Uh, it was all kinds of stuff with this Yanko who was involved since 1995 at least. Um, nurse Yanko, I should say. I definitely would not want my father to get transferred because of MKUltra uh, to another location which would be very distant, uh, financially uh, demanding, time-consuming. Uh, the plan here is to rehabilitate father and bring him over home. Uh, something to mother heavily, heavily disagrees. Um, as I stated, they work together and my father is just 91 year old. Where are you going to go? What are you going to do when you're 91? When they used good, good portion, great portion of his life for a torture, for violence against him alone. Uh, so, what I'm saying is, you're not going to see me in Home for Elderly People till the police is going to escort me to the Home for Elderly People. Or it will be a police that will visit Home for Elderly People. Um, Till I'm actually done with this, you're not going to see me at home for elderly people because of what I stated. Uh, just as I had at home, there was a white Volkswagen SUV that had it in direction of 
eh, Smolenia Gora, eh, I should say Ejikovo Selo, and that I understand is his area where actually he is from. Um, he could not, but also death threatened in respect to my hiking whereabouts and well maybe a week and a half ago I had an incident at Zhihovo Selo when there were two cars according to MK Ultra scenario that participated they are from here from this village uh, started to blind me not cars but vans with the long lights flashlights flash me it was after midnight already when these cars would uh, do that kind of stuff according to MK Ultra. Um, and Nurse Yanko was not jailed, maybe it's even Zadar, I don't know. Zadar, Dubrovnik, uh, one of those cities split Zadar, Dubrovnik. I think it's actually Dubrovnik. Uh, Yanko nurse was not jailed in Croatia because. Uh, Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch involved through Slovenian police, also Slovenian politicians, Slovenian parliament, I understand entire Slovenian parliament lobbied for a nurse Janko, uh, so he avoided jail in Croatia, which would actually be a considerable penalty sentence. Uh, he faced a lot of criminal charges, but he would literally was left off the hook by Croatian government for being involved in this case and using Slovenian police literally to bail him out from legal problems in Croatia. This stuff with Croatia probably happened. He had his runarounds, whereabouts, but probably this was in 2010. He had me oftentimes, 2008 to 2010, he had me oftentimes alongside with his family. Um, the psychiatrists, the police, they would, they would just have marvelous life. They would travel and mix basically pleasure with special assignments, as we say, uh, special tasks. Uh, in this case, this was MK Ultra task, yeah. So, there were Croatian politicians who claimed me as soon as I say something, as I stated, they would follow up on it. Uh, I doubt it. Uh, it would be, I would mind, that would be nice uh, because. I'm not going to stop until I am going to destroy this individual. Uh, until I get him behind the bars, I should say. I, I am not going to let this man on the hook. Uh, not like this, not like that. Uh, I respect him so much for his violence. Uh, a fact that... Uh, I rather get out of my way uh, for the cost of uh, my 91 year old father whom they have caused stroke literally again to play on him to play with a stroke on him he was hospitalized many occasions as I stated psychiatrist Peter Kapsch used one literally after they were using me to create war, regional war here, domestic problems. Uh, they hospitalized uh, father. First, uh, they made father voluntarily to volunteer himself for a few days. Then they demanded more. Uh, and it was more and more. It started stupidity of my father that he went into this shit. That's how they did. It was first just for a day, then it was for two days, then it was for three days. Then psychiatrists began a, a addicted to it. It was like a civil war inside of this home for elderly. And he would stay longer and longer and longer. And the longer he would stay, the more difficult he would 
become to rehabilitate one uh, back to life. Yeah. On several occasions, he barely even managed to claim back because they had him lay down in the bed for long durations. He just disappeared for really long durations. Uh, and it was exactly, again, this nurse Yanko who would rehabilitate him. Uh, they would use him absolutely for everything. Even as Nurse Yanko claimed during his work assignment that he would take at his own expense uh, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever, to exercise with the father and so on, to keep him alive for me, as he said. Yeah. So that's basically about the Nurse Yanko. Uh, you can understand what kind of feelings I have for this individual. Uh, so, if anything happens to father, um, it's going to be on the hands of the police. That's all I'm going to do. I am going to follow up with the, on this video with the audio recordings. Uh, with the proofs, a letter will be submitted to police. And then we're going to see each other sometimes also at home for reality.